Have you been wanting to move to St. George, Utah, but the high real estate prices have been holding you back? Well, the tables have officially turned. Our market had gone through a correction. And in this video, we're going to present you with some of the most incredible real estate deals that could be found right here in St. George, Utah. Why would you say that happened? As the interest rates keep going up, the home prices are inevitably inevitably going to come down and sellers are really trying to do whatever they can to make the deal work. Yeah. Current interest rates had really washed out the buyer pool considerably. And I would say it translated into nearly a hundred dollar per square foot reduction or a hundred thousand dollar reduction on some listings. And on top of that, if we look at a list to close ratio, it's a metric that allows for you to see from an entire market perspective where those real estate deals are beginning to happen, you will you will find that most of those deals are happening at about 95% versus 102% just a few months ago with low interest rates. So in other words, offers at around 5% below asking are starting to get accepted in this market. Or typically with some of the builders, you will get seller concessions or buyer concessions in the form of a raid buy down. Well, a lot of sellers are starting to do that right now. A lot now of too. sellers are starting to do that too. Like private sellers, not just builders. But without further ado, let's just dive into it and take a look at some of these incredible real estate deals. Folks, and one more disclaimer, before we get into it, Mashon and I are both real estate agents right here in St. George. We absolutely love it when people reach out to us and people reach out to us on a daily basis after watching these videos. So don't be a stranger. If you're watching this and you're even remotely thinking about moving to Southern Utah, you will make no mistake by relocating into this great area. And you'll see plenty of other videos on our channel that will tell you exactly why. But the only mistake that you could make is moving into a wrong neighborhood, wrong subdivision. So reach out to us. Tell Michonne a couple of things about your likes and dislikes. And she'll be sure to put you into the right subdivision. We could create a custom search based on your unique set of that's wants a, and needs. That's actually one of our specialties. Just give us your wants and your needs, your must-haves and your ideal scenario of where you'd like to be, and we will place you in the perfect neighborhood. And if you're liking what you see so far and you're excited to see what our market has to offer, be sure to give this video a like so that it'll boost YouTube algorithm and this video will get suggested to more people that are also looking to move into this area. All right, folks, we are going to dive into our local MLS, and I want to show you some of the deals that are currently available and our real estate market, it's incredible. Price per square foot, deals are starting to happen uh, as low as 130 per square foot on some of the homes. And keep in mind that it's kind of a Costco principle works here. So the larger the square footage of the home, the lower the price per foot is going to go down. So for this, we selected, well, we selected 11 homes that we're about to go over in detail. We'd like to give credit to the Washington County Board of Realtors MLS. None of these listings are our listings, but if you'd like to learn more about any of these homes, give us a call, shoot us a text, or drop us a comment below, and we'll shoot a video, or we could even get together and take a look at any of these properties in person. Let's And with take... that being said, we did select 11, but there are so there's too many good deals to be had right now, but we're just going to do 11 for the sake of not having this video go forever, but um, there are a lot of good deals going on and right now. We will also include chapter marks in this video. That way you can skip to any of these deals and you'll you'll see them in the description below. But as you see here, uh, we filtered these homes to be uh, mainly single family homes uh, located in St. George and Hurricane area. And some of the criteria are amongst some of the most uh, common wants and needs that our buyers have. So we'll start from low to high. I will sort these homes by price. That way I could give you guys a snapshot of what the entry level market looks like, as well as some of the higher end homes. There are some really cool homes with pools on this list as well. So our entry level market right now, if you were to, and these are, you know, some of it is uh, just our own personal bias, but some of these entry level homes are, you know, we, we decided to go through this list and say, look, if you were specifically shopping for a buyer right now, what would tickle your fancy in terms of, 
uh, overall quality and location as well as price per foot. So these 11 homes got nominated. Agents out there, if you're watching this video and you've got a killer listing that you would like for us to feature, let us know. We'd be happy to explain to our clients why your listing might be the one that they may want to consider. But this is just preliminary based on Nick and Michonne Lee's list top top 11 that are selected by us so the first property on this list is offered at just 223 per square foot it was built in 1997 it is a three bedroom two bathroom home it's a little house it's 1544 square feet it's on a 0.12 acre lot but this would be a terrific starter home this home is located in ivan's so it's surrounded by red rock and it looks like it's fully fenced in and Ivan's is a really how would you describe Ivan's well it's a highly desirable area it's mostly because it's surrounded just the views that it's surrounded by the the red rock it's um it's a little bit quieter there's not a lot of like there's no busy freeways and highways there so and it's pretty laid back, like in terms of um, HOA regulations and like overall, it's not a highly regulated community. It's about a 15 minute drive from downtown St. George. And it's the, the beauty, the pro and the con of living in Ivans is that um, there are no uh, high speed highways. There's no interstate that takes you there. So it keeps it a little bit more off the beaten path and it's not as crowded or as busy as St. George could get. So if you want to be really close to everything, but still live in a somewhat small ish community, mm -hmm. that might be a good way to go. It looks like this home was repainted. Everything is in great condition. You have a fully finished private fenced in backyard. They also did the flooring in there. They redid the flooring, the countertops look to be upgraded and you have some side parking here. So I, sure you could probably squeeze in an rv on a side it looks like it's got plenty of space and a nice big gate right there you can see it through that front photo what do you guys think about that home drop us a comment below if you would see yourself living here and keep in mind the prices you know you take in consideration how long has the home been on the market um you know the longer obviously the longer it's been on the market the more the sellers are wanting to make things work and make negotiations so you know, with I'd say our last our last three deals we've got have all been accepted well below um, list price, along with more seller concessions. So, and we we don't encourage uh, low ball offers. And one one thing that I want to talk to you guys about, one thing that a lot of sellers are comfortable doing in this current market is providing a two one buyer concession. We have a number of lenders that we work that offer loans that allow for a rate buy down. And one of our lenders actually got upset with me with calling it a buy down. What it really is, it's a prepaid interest uh, rate. So prepaid interest rate buy down. That's It makes the most sense when the seller does the buy down for you. In other words, the seller would buy down two points. So if you're financing half a million dollars, each point is usually 1% of your mortgage rate. So the seller would give you a seller credit of $10,000 at closing. And for the first year, your interest rate would drop down by two whole points. And that's significantly impacted on your bottom line, on your payment. Typically, it would bring your payment down by a couple hundred dollars in a lot of cases. So that's something that we often negotiate for our clients. And we have a number of lenders that help us with doing so. And we cannot stress this enough. If you're shopping in this market, it is very, very important for you to have solid footing with a great lender. Because if, if your hopes are higher than reality, in other words, if you're starting to shop without a secured pre-approval over just the last few months, it is possible that you know if you if you pulled your credit and you had a pre-approval dated to last summer that's old news because at the current interest rates that pre-approval amount has likely changed and if you need a solid lender recommendation we have a handful of lenders that we absolutely love working with they have never dropped a ball in any of our deals and we can send them your way we can't wait to show you guys the rest of these homes so we as we told you earlier we rank these homes in uh, order of the most affordable uh -huh. to um, some of the best deals per foot on higher end homes. Next up, we have a an option for a brand new townhome. This townhome was just built in 2022, and it is offered at 445.9 right now. 
It has four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, 2,004 square feet uh, in total square footage. It's two levels. It is on a smaller lot, but... 0.04 acre lot, uh, but you don't have much to maintain. You kind of still get uh, a private backyard. And if you want something brand new, I would say that's one of the most affordable options on this list. And it still comes with a builder warranty. It's listed at 222 per square foot. Not too long ago, you couldn't touch anything under 300 or 350 per foot. Okay, so let's check it out. Let's check it out. Um, also, location of this home, it is right down here by the airport in a desert. It's always desert is rather desert something. Club? Desert Canyons? Desert Canyons subdivision. Um, these homes are really cool. They've got kind of some modern architectural features on the exterior. Um, they have nice finishes. I don't know why they, they uploaded different... such tiny photos. They have they have um, several different color packages as the well. The water runs, as you can see in this photo. <laughs> uh, they have really nice large bedrooms. And I don't know, I'm sorry, We this builder usually has several listings. Uh, the listing photos are not up to par in this one, but you kind of get the idea. Uh, really nice premium finishes throughout this entire home. You usually get carpet in the bedroom areas, solid surface flooring throughout the home. Um Kind of middle of the pack finishes you see palette. here, a uh, nice color palette. And they didn't include any backyard pictures with this one. It's kind of disappointing, but most of these homes have nice private backyards and they're actually nice for like, we have a couple clients uh, that wanted their first home. Like it's an ideal yeah. uh, first time home buyer option. Well, in two more homes, we're gonna show you the same builder same finishes, just to give you another idea. So Just something that's a little bit yeah. more upgraded. Yeah. So next up on our list, we have this kind of a unique option if you want modern on the budget. No, no offense to the quality of the home because I think it's a phenomenal home and it is kind of cool to be able to get into a modern modern home. Well, not to mention like the views. You can't put a price on the views this home has. Yeah, this home is going to have some pretty great views. It is listed at four eighty nine nine. It is a four bedroom, three and a half bathroom, total of twenty two hundred and twenty six square feet, small lot, zero point zero four acre lot, and it's listed at two twenty per square foot. This home is also brand new. Nobody has ever lived in it at two twenty per foot does have a two car garage and a walkout basement. And the two neighboring properties are also by the same builder mm -hmm. and they have a similar uniform look. Kind of a cool uh, subdivision in Shadow Point. Mm -hmm. We actually sold all of the lots that these homes are built on. So it's beautiful to see something go vertical on the project that we once listed. Really cool modern veneer cabinets. I think they've done a really good job with all the light fixtures. And look at that carpet too. The carpet pad is really nice. You have upgraded bathrooms. It's pretty impressive to see something of this quality in this price range. Just a few months ago, it was impossible. So the views that you'll get from, you know, the kitchen, family room area, which is nice because that's where you spend most of your time, is going to be of Santa Clara Ivins, those red rocks. Like the views are amazing from from where this home sits. Nice, spacious, open floor uh, concept with a nice living room. Can lights in each room for... You get plenty of natural light. Nice large walk-in closets. Look at that dual vanity in this bath. Um, dual vanity and a walk-in shower without a tub, like not a construction grade combo. So some really nice premium features in this, you know, considerably entry-level budget. We so, actually have those same uh, bathroom lights. I'm a fan of those lights. Yeah, I like those lights a lot. And downstairs you have a slider that opens to a spacious 0 0.04 acre lot. Uh, folks, and some of these deals are made possible because the builders literally had to get a bargain on land in order to be able to feature that. So it looks like your laundry room and boiler room is downstairs. That way, you don't have to stress about any floods in that home or any damages. This looks to be a bathroom under the staircase. So that's your downstairs bath. 
uh, nice safe window wells for the walkout basement on the high side of it. So that bedroom must be towards the front of the property. Absolutely love all the black and white contrast and the warm tone in that floor. I think mm -hmm. it looks really good together. What do you guys think? Would you see yourself living in this home? P people with modern, I feel like you either love it or you hate it. Like, yeah. Yeah. I find it people in like the Gen X and millennials tend to gravitate more towards modern stuff. More mature buyers like to have more traditional finishes, traditional architecture. But w what do you guys think? Where, where do you fall on that spectrum? Would you see yourself living in something modern like that? Is that too much black and white? Let us know in the comments below this video. The next home on this list is kind of a kind of a good deal too. So it's by that same developer, Salisbury Homes, that built those townhomes. And let's take a look at the stats on this one. It's listed at four ninety nine, which is a really great price for a single family home. It was built in twenty twenty one. It's nineteen hundred and twelve square feet, slightly larger. Um, lot on this one, 0 0.16 acre. It's a three bedroom, two and a half bathroom. And let's take and a look. And it's also in that desert canyons out by the airport, same. Same, same neighborhood, um, really close to everything. You have SR7 and I-15 to get to places. It has some really cool modern finishes on the exterior. Three car garage with this home. Nice solid steel door with some glass in the front. And the windows matching the front door. Really cool looking modern touch. And it looks like this home has been lived in. So some of the upgrades were made like this accent wall in the office. Um, it has a den that doesn't have any doors on it, which is kind of cool because some people like to use it as formal dining. Or it could be your office or. And I'm not sure about the staging and decoration ideas, but you know, it gives it's you, a kids room. <laughs> it gives you a good idea of use of that space. So it could be a great kids room or a den. Um, Nice open floor plan. Which I'm personally a fan of. I don't know about you. I don't really like choppy floor plans, but I kind of like it to be nice and open kitchen and family room. Just nothing there, obstructing anything. I really like those veneer cabinets and veneer uh, islands. So the cabinets are a little bit more traditional in this one, but you've got veneer wood finish on the center island. Um, nice little patch of carpet, not too much in a living room. I think it's perfect because I would have put a rug down that size anyways. So and your primary suit's got some nice large windows. And yeah, I agree. There's no need for a rug with this plan because it's kind of all there. Uh, no backyard pictures. I think that this lot is pretty small. Like if we look at the living room windows here, looks like you're pretty close to the wall, but it does have a nice fully walled in backyard. We have clients that reach out to us all the time that find like the perfect home, you know, on... Whether we're, we set them up on a search or they found it on Zillow or wherever, and we run into a scenario like this, you just can't see it all. You didn't see the backyard. Please call us, text us, reach out to us. We'd love to go out and sh shoot you a virtual tour. We can either do FaceTime or shoot you a very detailed video, you know, so you're not missing anything because a lot of our clients, they, they want to make sure that, you know, some of the homes that they're seeing, they want to see in detail before they consider even offering or consider even flying out to see it in person and make sure it truly is what they were expecting. Yeah. And any of these homes that you guys see in this tour, or, you know, if you'd like to see even more homes, I will link our website in the description below this video. It's housesinsaintgeorge.com. You can go there and you could create your own searches. Sometimes you want to be in a driver's seat and that's how we put you there. So if you'd like to start browsing properties today, you're welcome to go to our website. It's free. Might ask you to register, but it's not going to cost you anything. So you can start your search there. You could save your favorites and then just let us know which ones you'd like to see in person. Or if you'd like to see a virtual tour, we're happy to FaceTime you or record a video and send it to you. A lot of our clients really enjoy that because the search can really start remote. And in fact, your entire shopping experience could start remote without you ever even being in this area. And then once we narrow down the list to the homes that you absolutely love and may consider putting an offer on, that's when you schedule your trip and come out and see it in person. But let's jump back into it. We've got a couple more homes to show you guys. So the next home on this lineup is located in Hurricane, Utah. And it is a 3,530 square foot home. So we're getting into nicer, larger homes. 
it's on a huge lot. It's a 0.64 acre lot, but I think some of it is sloping down the hill. It is a five bedroom, three and a half bathroom home currently listed at just 729,000. And the best part is it's just $206 per square foot. This property was built in 2003. Let's take a look at some of the photos to see what this home has to offer. It's got a pretty sexy curb appeal. And I think uh, the layout of this home, it sits in a cul-de-sac. You'll see in the next photo, uh, it's got kind of an elevated, um, elevated uh, setting for the home. So it's up above the front yard, which gives you a lot more privacy. And as you see here, it's at the end of the cul-de-sac and you have this beautiful staircase that takes you up into this property. Looks like there's some decent views from being that elevated. Yeah, you got some awesome views and a nice long private driveway, which could actually give you a little extra parking. Was that, was that detached garage part of it? We'll have to look in the description. Uh, here. No, garage? that could be. Yeah, yeah, I think the garage is actually detached and down below because you have a, this lot is larger than a half acre. So your garage is detached from the house. I wonder if there's an attached one. Let's, yeah, let's see. That could be a little tricky, you know, if, if, if getting around is challenging. It looks like the front windows are tinted and you could see Pine Valley mountain views right there in the distance. So the frontage of this property is facing north. That's how you tell north from south in Southern Utah. Wherever you see Pine Valley mountain, that's straight north. And you could see it through these windows in this office as well. And it looks like it has a nice open floor plan. And again, this is what you could expect from real estate. Anything that was built in 2003 or early 2000s is going to have uh, brown tile, more traditional cabinets, uh, a lot of brown tones. But, you know, a lot of our clients love that style, like the arches and the doorways. There's definitely something for everyone here. And this home is over 3,000 square feet, so it's got plenty of space. Uh, you've got these nice, large picture windows to that's, the north. That's really nice to have it's a really nice touch. Piece. Lots of natural light. The listing has 68 photos, so I want to make sure I show you guys all of them. So I'm going to move kind of quick. Kitchen looks like it has tile countertops, and maybe some of these light fixtures were actually upgraded. You have a nice little prep sink right here, right around the corner. So you have a second sink and a little, uh, and a little yeah, a little mini refrigerator. So if you're watching movies in the living room, it's kind of nice to have that as a little popcorn station. Mm -hmm. Or a the little coffee bar. Green door, I think, is the pantry door. You've got um, a really nice built-in range with a wall oven and a wall microwave. That's a really nice touch. I think that maybe this home had a slight remodel. Mm -hmm. um, Look at all the tile detail. Go back one. Okay. So you've got tile. There's tile on the yeah, side. Yeah, you've got right some here. really and cool mosaic tile. Yeah. A lot of detail on the cabinets and the tile. And the tile seems to be the theme of that kitchen. Mm -hmm. Normally, I'm not a huge fan, but I think it looks really nice. Out there in the distance, you see that similar tile mosaic around uh, the fireplace. And there's a nice I would imagine, tray ceiling in that kitchen as well. Yeah, it looked like it was a gas insert fireplace. Mm -hmm. Mud room, laundry room. It's another sitting area. I think this is on a separate level. No, that's actually just outside yeah. the kitchen. Yeah. So kind of by the front door. And then right off the front, you have, um, it's hard to tell from this photo, but this looks like it could be a primary bedroom, mm -hmm. has access to the backyard. And then that hallway takes you into uh, the primary bath mm -hmm. and it has a door that takes you into the closet. Got some frosted glass that separates the wet room, or it actually just separates the shower and a large soaking jetted tub. It's a good size nice, closet. Nice, good size closet. Looks like it has a good size office. Plenty of furniture in there. Sometimes that kind of kind of constricts the room a little bit to get a true perception. It looks like there's a storage area right around the corner from like the main living room area. Some nice tile detail in this bath. Goes all the way up to the ceiling. It looks like probably another angle of the primary it's bedroom. That, is that, wait, is that the closet that the 
bed, that little nook? Yeah, it looks there? like they recessed the or bed into the closet. closet. Uh, I think there's a, a walk-in closet in this room as well. Okay. Yeah, there's a oh. walk-in, and then there used to be a closet. Or maybe they uh, just built the nook like that for the bed. I don't know. Well, we'll never know. We'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, kids' bedroom with a bunk bed, another bath with a metal sink in it. That's kind of a unique touch. Mm -hmm. Walk-in shower, another kid's bedroom. Lots and lots of space in yeah. this home. I'm going to go a little quicker through these pictures so I don't bore you guys to death. So it looks like it's a nice private lot and there's some space between you and your neighbors. Uh, it's a 0.64 acre lot, I think. So you have a staircase from the upper level of this home because the frontage of this property is higher than the backyard and your backyard is kind of recessed. So that, looks like, that, that room has its own access. Yeah, it has its own access to the backyard and you have a balcony upstairs. So that, I think they, it was labeled as the mother-in-law suite. So oh, yeah. you could probably rent that out. So well. something that's super popular in this market for people doing house hacking is you have a casita and you could rent out a portion of your home and help offset your mortgage expenses. Or maybe you have some family or remote family people that visit. It's really nice to have a casita that has private access and could be you know, essentially independent. Uh, the backyard could use a little finishing. It looks like they did kind of a minimalist scape with just the playground set and just gravel, but use your imagination here. There's definitely plenty of room to imagine and to sink money. And this garage looks like it's a detached three car garage with this massive driveway. So a lot of our clients are actually looking for homes with RV parking. Something like that could be a really, really good option where, you know, it's separate and you've got plenty of room right there to stick an RV. And, you know, if you want more vehicles, you could stick them in that driveway. Look how long it is. So it's at the end of a cul-de-sac. And you've got the views to the north right there. Folks, let us know what you think about this property. What do you think about backyard projects? Would you enjoy something with a detached garage or is that a deal killer for you? Folks, the next home on this list is kind of a unique value, value proposition because a lot of these homes, first of all, basements are not very common in Southern Utah. And if you have a basement, it's usually a walkout basement because it costs quite a bit to dig down and excavate. I think this home actually has a walkout basement. The soils are pretty hard here. So it's soils it's are hard. Yeah, it's effective or cost prohibited to build down. More cost effective to build up because you're yeah. going to spend more money on excavating and then might as well just build up. But let's take a look at this home. So it is located in Ivins, which means you get some awesome red mountain views. Currently listed at just 159 per square foot. The total asking price is $799. It is a three bedroom, two bathroom home, and it is 5,015 square feet. So my guess is it's uh, 2,500 square feet per floor. So I'm guessing, there are they saying three bed, two bath finished? Three because, bed, yeah, three bed, yeah. two bath finished upstairs. And, and it's on a 0 0.4 acre lot. So the lot is actually pretty big. Let's take a look at some photos. So that's the basement. Um, the frontage of this house is pretty cool. It was built in 2013. It's got desert landscape. Looks like you've got RV parking plus three car garage and some beautiful red mountains in the background there. The living room is nice and open. You have tile throughout the dining area. Some traditional finishes for 2013. You have some brown cabinets, granite countertops, stainless steel appliances. Huge open floor plan. Huge open floor plan with nice large living room and uh, some nice stone up okay. above the fireplace. Some of the trace ceiling in the kitchen and the family room. And you've got nice prep area. For some reason it has a detached microwave, but that's an easy fix. Uh, you've got some French doors right here to go out into the backyard. Nice dining area. More of that living room. I'm a huge fan of tray ceilings because they really add a nice touch and taller ceilings just make the space feel bigger. It looks like it has a nice private backyard. Mm -hmm. 
can't wait to see these backyard photos. Look at how uh, that king size bed just completely gets swallowed up. <laughs> gets swallowed up by the size of that room. You've got a primary bath with lots of mirror space yeah. and. I love that these sinks are so far apart because you don't have to. Yeah, you be over there, I'll be over here to uh, do your thing. You don't have to fight for that yeah. square footage. You've got a soaking tub, really good size primary closet. Looks like we've moved on to bedroom number two, bedroom number three, bathroom. And folks, if you're struggling with uh, size perception or if you'd like to see any of these homes in person, just let us know. We'd be happy to go check them out on your behalf. We always do our showings. We try to have both of us go so that one of us can be in the video giving you, you know, a good idea of the space and the, you know, it's nice to have a body in there so we can give you accurate. Um, one of us, the cameraman, the other one's usually just the body that gives a tour. But yeah. <laughs> and a lot of time, you know, we'll, we'll take our baby with us and. Um, it's a family friendly show. Yeah. So uh, this is the foyer, the the main, the front entry into this house. Looks like a grand entry with a couple of windows. Some nice detail right there around that railing. And this is where we step into uncertainty. Um, or a blank slate, however you want to see it. Looks like you've got concrete on the front where that property was retained um, against uh, the grade to create the, the flat main level. So some people like to build in, um, you know, like security rooms, anything with any kind of, you know, tough access. Um, like we've seen safe rooms built in around concrete. So that, that usually kind of gets me excited because you have so many different cool opportunities for like a vault room. Um, and I think you've got about 2,500 square feet on that level. Yeah. I don't know that that's a walkout because that main level, no, it's not a walkout. it looks like the basement yeah. is fully dug in. Yep. Which is very rare here. Super rare. Yeah. Sometimes if the soils dictate for the basement to be dug in, that's when the builders will do it. That looks like a, what size lot is that? It looks- 0.4 acre. So uh, it is, you know, not quite a half, 0.4, but it's a massive lot. And it's got the zero scaping oh, wow. theme going on. And take a look at these views. I really appreciate when realtors get do the, you know, drone. Drone, drone photos are yeah. huge, which we usually include in all of our listings. And look, from your side yard, you've got access to this massive gate and you could park, you could park so many things here. What would you park here? Wow. Incredible. I'm impressed by this home. I would say that's a really solid deal, especially if you're handy and if you see yourself finishing that basement, I think that's a huge value add and it just... You know, 150 per foot, 159. 159 per foot. That's literally half of what this home would have caused, you know, in terms of finished square footage. But unfinished square footage is still there. I mean, it still costs a lot of money to put in a basement. And the views are just a plus. Yeah, I think the views are pretty incredible. And living in Ivan's in general or finding a solid deal in Ivan's could be pretty tricky. But in this market, that's what's so good about it. There are so many deals to be had and so many properties on the market. You don't have to rush into something. You are able to literally go take a look at a couple options and see what suits you best. This next home is going to be brand new construction. It is by one of the builders that we really like. Um, and it has some really, really nice uh, built-in premium finishes. This home was built in 2022. It is a five bedroom, four bathroom, 3,507 square foot home, brand new, Listed at just 228 per square foot. It sits or, on a 0 0.26 acre. So quarter acre, a little larger than a quarter. That's pretty standard for our market. Let's check out some photos of this home. So this home is still under construction and it's scheduled to be finished uh, within a very near future. Looks like it's got a zero scape on the front with some artificial turf. Nice grand entry. And it's a two-level home. Really nice shiplap throughout uh, the office area. And with this builder, you typically get premium cabinets, ceiling to floor tile, uh, really nice granite countertops. Really, uh, so uh, 10 foot ceilings, eight foot doors are usually standard. It looks like the living room will have a little carpet insert. 
has a massive center island and some really nice cabinets that run all the way to the ceiling. I like the, the cream cabinets with the light oak. Yeah, I really like the color selection on this one. Dining area. Some more shiplap around there. Really like those light fixtures. And it's kind of tough to look at new construction. You know, use your imagination on this one. These homes usually look absolutely beautiful when they're finished. You've got some premium cabinets right there. It looks like it will have a gas insert. And I love often, the cabinets to the ceiling. Me too. It looks like the pantry will be nice and hidden and it'll have a window in it as well. It's right behind your little butler's um, pantry. Yeah, a little butler's pantry. Let's see if we could get a better shot. So the pantry also has cabinet space in the pantry, uppers and lowers. And look at all of that countertop space. Think about all the kitchen appliances that you don't have to worry about. Oh, wow. Just keeps Lots going. Lots of shelving. That's incredible. Pantry is huge for us. Mm -hmm. um, nice mud room, right? As soon as you enter through the garage, typically, and it looks got like you've got a laundry room. room. Lots of cabinets in this home. Lots of really expensive touches. Look at the herringbone pattern on the tile on the floor. The I don't hardware. think it's actually a herringbone. It's a herringbone that's on the hexagon. So it really kind of messes with your eyes <laughs> in a good way. In a good way. I really like all the gold hardware in the cabinets too. It looks like here we're looking at the primary bedroom, a nice which accent wall. will Very have strange. two windows. Got what, six can lights in there. Okay. Well, let's check out the primary bathroom. We've got some more shiplap that goes all the way around, which is a really nice touch. Oh, it's huge. Yeah. And look at the... Look at those nice, massive tiles too. So the mirrors are probably going to be, uh, I don't know, this builder likes to do interesting things with mirrors. So they're either going to be square or you might get some funky, like round looking mirrors. And it's got a nice standalone tub. Shower will have large tile that runs all the way to the ceiling. Oh, wow. Huge primary closet. What is this? That must be your upstairs or your, mm -hmm. your second living room, mm -hmm. your family room. It's also going to have carpet. So anywhere you guys don't see flooring, that's going to be carpet. Carpet usually goes in last so that it doesn't get hammered during construction. I don't get hammered like, never mind. Well, I'm not going to make that joke. Well, and, and I'm like, I'm happy to see that they covered all of the flooring. Like, Me too. If you yeah. walk into new construction and you know, you've got wood flooring or LVP and it's not covered, it can get so damaged. If you walk into new construction at this stage and you see carpet, let's just say run. Yeah. That builder is probably not going to be your chosen builder. So this is still mi missing a mirror. Really good sized bedrooms. And wow, take a look at that. So the back patio, instead of standard old boring concrete, you get pavers. And that's actually really expensive to finish. Well, in front of a brand new home, they have it fully landscaped. Another really cool thing is these gray walls. Um, a lot of Southern Utah homes will have these red walls that don't match modern architecture very well. And I absolutely love that these privacy walls are made from gray block that kind of matches uh, these pavers and look more artificial turf. They did the uh, artificial turf in the front yard and the backyard. So zero. It's a very expensive touch. Yeah, too. Zero maintenance. Really tall block wall. You get plenty of privacy. If you've got pets, we have artificial turf right now and it is super easy to pick up all the bull, bull products. <laughs> <laughs> we have two bulldogs. Okay, guys, I am a huge, huge fan of luxury real estate. That's my specialty. So these next couple of homes that we're gonna step into are gonna be a little bit heftier in a price. So we're, we're gonna break a million dollar price point. But what's really cool to see is that so many of these homes are actually priced very reasonably per square foot considering all the amenities. So this next home, if you're looking for views, like this is it, it is, a five bedroom, four bathroom, 4,972 square foot home on a 0 0.23 acre lot. So pretty compact lot. And it's priced at just $216 per square foot. Let's check it out. This home is located in St. George and it has some really cool 
architectural design features just even from the exterior so well, that's over in washington where they've got that big ravine behind it yeah so the address is still technically saint george oh, but okay. it's just on a border of washington kind of close to brio community and i think in the backyard we actually have a ravine i'm curious to see what year it was built so this home was built in 2016 so it's usually kind of a mixture of you know more traditional and modern mixed in together So it looks like it has a walkout basement. I really like the touches with uh, the concrete that they did in the front. It gives you some nice separation and overall just really adds to the curb appeal of this property. Got some really cool mature landscaping with this massive plant. It looks like aloe, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, it could be a century plant. I don't know. If anybody knows, drop it's in the huge. comments below. I absolutely love it. I think it looks awesome. Uh, looks like this home has some side parking right there, so you could maybe sneak in an RV or a trailer. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you could casually sneak in a Class A motorhome. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, you could. Look at that. Well, it's nice that it's flat. You've got a nice courtyard. Um, a lot of these homes have courtyards and private sitting areas, especially if you've got views. It's really cool to enjoy this a nice cool afternoon. I really appreciate this massive metal door. And one cool feature about these metal doors is they have this glass insert that could actually pop open and you could enjoy a nice afternoon breeze. Look at the light fixtures that's too. Cute bell. That's cool. Oh, wow. Wow, massive open living room. And I believe there's actually a ravine behind this home. So you've got no rear neighbors. Nice fireplace insert, Some tray shot. ceilings. Speakers in the ceiling. Really good size room. A big built-in. Built-in, usually sub-zero or some sort of, maybe a Thermador. It actually looks like a Thermador mm -hmm. built-in fridge with a water dispenser. It looks like there's a um, hidden pantry right by the microwave. Oh wow, look at that center island. Yeah, that center island is absolutely massive. It's got a sink in it, and then you have a balcony that takes you out back. Pantry is big enough to have a second refrigerator and still tons of room with a prep area. Now we go into a laundry room. Interesting choice of paint, but it's pretty neutral. We've got an office, and it looks like this home has similar matching flooring throughout. It's just hard surface flooring. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about carpets. Some people don't really like to move into a used home that has carpets. It's got some carpets in some of the areas. Oh, is there, so there's skylight on the four corners? Yeah, so is you've got it? four corners of the skylight I and then this the interesting ceiling have? detail. Some built-in speakers. It looks like they really went over the top with some of the upgrades and finishes. And this is cool because every now and again you will find a jam. You know, 2016, it's a couple of years old. Uh, it's a really well broken in house that's still in great shape. And if you were to build something like this, I don't think that you could rebuild this home at this price per square it looks foot. Looks like they've done a lot of like, I feel like the fireplace and the shiplap and some upgrades. of the paint and upgrades, the flooring. Yeah. This looks like a primary bath, maybe. Uh -huh. Yep, because that was the primary bedroom yep. we were just looking at. Primary bedroom has a balcony with a walkout, mm -hmm. uh, and it's all fenced, uh, not fenced in. It's screened in. You've got a screened in porch. Yep. Uh, ceiling to floor tile right here down this entire hallway. Oh, wow. Wow. That's a massive shower. It's not a hallway. I'm sorry. A shower that kind of wraps around. So you've got three shower heads, dual shower heads, and then one in the middle. You've got a massive closet. Lots of uh, natural light, which is, I mean. And you have another little prep area, like a little makeup counter mm -hmm. right across the street from the dual vanity. So this is the primary bath that has... You know, imagine waking up to this. I actually don't think this is skylight. It looks like these cubes have lights inside of them. Really? Yeah, I would really like to see it in person because it kind of looks like it could have been a skylight. But, you know, having a skylight right up above your bed, <laughs> if you're not an early riser, that could be a challenge. Well, I'm sure they come with blinds. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these views. You've got incredible views got of St. Right George slash Washington. And the best part is you don't really have 
anybody as your immediate rear neighbor. I'm curious to see the rest of this. Yeah, just across the way. They're quite a ways out. Uh, You've got the views to the north. That's Pine Valley Mountain right there. And it looks like you're kind of overlooking this entry into the neighborhood. So you'll get a little bit of traffic down that road, but I don't think it'll be anything too crazy. And it's really quite a ways away. Wait, where is this home located? I Now I'm getting confused. Um, let's take a closer look. So this takes us down to the basement. That Solid road surface. Like, like the bottom of Stone Cliff. It, you know. We'll, we'll pull it up on a map in a second to settle Michonne's curiosity. So you've got a built-in bar downstairs. It's all solid wood, it looks like. And this is your downstairs bath. You've got a nice vanity. Another downstairs bath. Maybe that's a Jack and Jill. It looks like it's a Jack and Jill mm-hmm. that's attached. Another massive bedroom. You've got another living room area with a a little carpet in between, a little Harry Potter closet, another little prep area back there, another bedroom, another bathroom, storage area. Wow. Wow. Take a look at the size of this balcony. So that's the balcony from the primary, and that's your RV parking on the right, so you could back up your RV right to this. This so little metal staircase takes you down into your backyard. Really nice, manageable backyard. It's not too big, but wow, it actually wraps around the entire main floor or your ground floor, rather. And then there's another step down, and then there's a ravine. So if you want privacy, this is a good way to go. I don't think there's enough room for a pool, but maybe a hot tub. Okay, we it's it's got to be in Stonecliff, actually. It's actually uh-huh. just outside of Stonecliff. No, it's in it. Is it Stone Cliff? Yeah. It's yeah. on the other side of, you know, that small road. It's on the, on the Washington side yeah. of Stone Cliff. I feel ill-prepared because I didn't research the exact location of this property, but it is in a highly coveted community. And take a look at this garage. So you've got a three-car garage with some sealed flooring. Your uh, water heater is set off to the side there. Two water heaters. And inside of this garage, you have more storage space. Let us know. What do you guys think? Would you see yourself living here? Do you prefer a gated community? Stonecliff is a highly coveted gated community. With a guard. With a guard. And getting into a home at a million seventy-five in Stonecliff is actually a pretty stellar deal. On to our next home. Let's see. So if you are looking for a home with a pool, here we have it. Priced at one million and ninety-five thousand. Let's see, we've got a six bedroom, four and a half bathroom, 4,976 total square feet, and it sits on a 0.35 acre. It's built in 2017 and priced at 220 per square foot. It's a really killer deal for a home with a pool. Well, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Wow. So here we have the bathroom. anybody that has kids or irresponsible adults. What are the odds of somebody diving into that pool right off that balcony? I'd like to know if you would do it or if you could see your kids doing not, it. <laughs> not good because it goes right into the shallow and it's like, look how far you'd have to jump out. You'd have to They'd try have to, off that right corner. No, that's why they built it so far out. Look, it's too far. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Okay, so I just always think about these things. Let's see. Okay, here's the front of the home. Beautiful curb appeal. Mm hmm. Like, that grass looks so perfect. I can't tell if it's real. It's got <laughs> RV parking to the side. You've got the L shape, um, three car garage. It looks like you could fit a fifth wheel and a trailer, and you still have a three car. It's looking like this home has got some awesome views as well. Awesome curb. Appeal. I love that grand entry. It's kind of wide, and the door is just perfect. Another one of those iron doors, which are really popular around here. Huge fan. Okay, so right as you walk in. And that door, that iron door also has the detail where you could, it's screened in. You could open the glass, you could let the breeze in. And it looks like you actually open the screen on that door on both sides mm-hmm. or on either side too. Let's see. So right when you walk in to the left, you've got a little sitting area. Um, Maybe an office. You could make it into an office mm-hmm. too. Yeah, this home definitely. Massive living room. Look at the size of that center island. I, I love the white granite. Look and how many chairs. How many chairs? Oh, is there four or five? 
It's like four. Okay. Family room, huge windows. I think the photos are a little diced up. They don't really do it justice. Yeah. Amazing views. Nice Got some nice view. modern banisters that uh, protect you from falling downstairs. Got a, I mean, that area is pretty big to fit that table. So Is there a balcony? Oh, wait. Was that a sliding door right there? So you've got a slider right here. Slider takes you out onto the balcony that opens to uh, your dining area. So if you want to do like dine out, you could do that. Okay. Got the center island, some cabinets to the side. Oh, I like that sw swinging door for the pantry. Oh yeah, that. it can open both ways. Mm -hmm. Look at that cooktop. And you've got it the looks like it's got a a high end cooktop, possibly a wolf or Viking, something similar to it. Mm -hmm. Look at all the knobs, hard to tell from here, but I think it's at least a six burner. Nice, huge um, hood vent over the top. Wall oven, or is that a microwave? Mm -hmm. That's a microwave. So you got a wall, wall microwave, but the range is a standalone range. So your oven, you've got a dual oven uh, attached to that range. Actually, looks like it's it's Wolf. I could see it's Wolf. Yeah. Huge sucker for appliances. So you've got a little prep area and a pantry. The pantry is not overwhelming. And that's that massive balcony that we saw earlier that opens up to that pool. That's some beautiful views. And this home actually has a pickleball court or tennis court. So it's, it's a pretty good lot. And this, you know, this lot, uh, because of the walkout basement design, the actual footprint of the house is not so big. So it gives you all this extra room for all sides, all, all sorts of activities. Mm -hmm. um, you've got a water feature up above that pool. It looks super nice. Got a shamu shell. There are like 80 photos, so I'm going to go kind of quick through them. It's got a really good size laundry room with lots of counter space, and it looks like they did a uh, butcher block. So it's a craft room slash laundry room. You've got a sink in there. Really cool combo, and you've got a little little station where you could sit down with a chair. Sell. It's, yeah, it's got a little sewing table. station. I haven't seen an ironing board in a while. Actually, it's big enough to fit a refrigerator in it as well. Mm -hmm. This room looks like it's got a California King in it and it could be a primary bedroom. Mm -hmm. So you've got a massive custom barn door that closes off the primary the bath. The looks pretty big too, so I bet that room's a good That's size. A good size room. So you've got a walk-in shower. A little standalone tub. Dual vanity. Cute. I really like the color combination on those custom vanities. Those vanities look pretty cool. A window in between. You've got a dual shower head in this shower. Nice little standalone tub. Really good size closet. Moving on to another bedroom. Another angle of that bedroom. Another An bedroom. Office bedroom slash office. bedroom. Garage. You've got, I think this home has a three car, an L-shaped three car. So here it fits a good full-size truck and a side-by-side. -side. And the garage flooring was done, which is nice. Moving on to the basement. Mm -hmm. Looks like the basement has another uh, living room area. And it's really nice to have a basement, like a walkout basement with a pool, because if you're entertaining people and they're going in and out. Oh, this is the house that had like three kitchens. That's right. Okay. So. But, I mean, that's not a full-on kitchen. I'm, I'm sure you could convert it's it It's like to a one. bar. It's more of like a, a full-size wet bar, so you have a sink. This home I wanted to see in person because I want to know where that extra casita mother-in-law suite was. It was hard to tell. So you've got that so you've got, little bar area down there. Yeah, that's a little entertaining area. You've got a microwave um, with sink. a little sink. And it's truly, like, it's designed to be a bar, and you've got a little storage area back there right off that bar. It's little, it's huge. It's huge storage area. <laughs> That's your downstairs bath. You've got another bedroom, another bedroom. And, so and is this it? is a casita. So this could be entered independently. And again, if you're into house hacking, if you're thinking about, you know, gee, how do I pay a mortgage on a million dollar house? Well, you get a tenant to do something like this. And with current rent rates, 
this could probably rent out easily for like 15, 1600 bucks a month. Oh, easy. Or if you don't have to rent it out, you could definitely have, you know, maybe some people move in with, uh, have their parents move in with them, or some people have young adult children that are still living with them. This would give them some independence and you don't have to worry about buying two properties because you could buy one really nice property. Well, that space looks huge too. It actually looks like more than just one bedroom. So you've got a whole another living space here. And it actually has not only a kitchenette, you also have a stackable in here. So it's like a full on independent living space. Yeah, that one had a full kitchen. And maybe that I'm wonder I just want to know how you access it. I think you access it downstairs through the pool. Let's see it if any of the exterior right photos. There. Beautiful pool. Panoramic photo. More angles of that pool. It some looks like you've got garden, some nice. yeah, raised garden. Cool little hangout area. Little fire pit. Oh yeah, take a look at the size of this pickleball court. You could easily convert it into a tennis court if you wanted to. And you've got some steps that take you up to the main level by the RV parking here. Landscaping looks really nice. Got some artificial turf. Absolutely well. love artificial turf. You don't have to mow it. You don't have to water it. I love when people are when it's conscious. Quality, like it's uh, it looks perfect. What do you guys think? How do you feel about pools in general? I feel like with pools, it could be either love or hate. Like some of our clients say, absolutely no pools in any of our searches, please. And others say we must have a pool because it does get pretty hot here. Well, this video is running quite long and we've got one more property for you guys to check out. Michelle and I really liked the style of this home. Actually, we've got two more properties to check out. So let's dive into it. So this next home is, I think, kind of a great deal for luxury new construction because it is listed at $1,099,000. It's a seven-bedroom, four-and-a-half bathroom, 4,839 square feet, and it makes it just 227 per square foot. It was actually built in 2019. So I stand corrected so on, it's on a 0 0.39 acre. Let's take a look. Where is it located? I feel like I'm skipping ahead. It is located in Hurricane. So sometimes in Hurricane, you get a little bit more of a bang for the buck because you're able to get a larger lot for you know seemingly less money than you would in St. George beautiful uh, modern architecture on the front. You've got some nice large windows, three car garage. I really like those beam details. Mm -hmm. Solid uh, steel door with glass insert. I love that metal awning. Oh, cool. Got modern features throughout this house. Matches the ceiling right above and the... Yeah, you've got some cool shiplap on yeah. the ceiling. Look at these picture windows. And it looks like your main living area has some really tall ceilings, commercial fridge uh, in the kitchen. For 2019, this home feels like it hasn't been lived in. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people maintain things really well, and sometimes it really hasn't been lived in. Could have been a second home. Cool um, range hood, and you've got your wall oven and wall microwave. Really good size pantry. This looks like a mudroom with some lockers. That's a cool feature. Mm -hmm. This definitely would make a great family home because with seven bedrooms, yeah. you hope that they're not empty. Uh, or maybe if you have a lot of guests that are coming to visit, how would you use that space? Looks like your dining area has a slider that takes you out into the backyard. Oh, I love that window. Is that a window or is that a mirror? That's a window above that's the- That's a window. Yeah, that's a little cute. arched window up above the I sink. Love that. So you don't feel closed in when you're doing dishes look at the size of this counter so it's got like the third kind of a three-dimensional space you've got bar some stools all like l-shaped all around bar stools all around you've got uh cabinets and i really love that red brick around the fireplace mm -hmm. that's kind of a cool detail i love it and it's got kind of a bench that goes around those windows as well mm -hmm. yeah that center island is I like massive the, i like that you can fit that many bar stools because let's be honest don't we all yeah nobody we don't ever use our dining table and take a look at this. So the living room has really tall ceilings that open all the way up to the second story. And you have this cool modern railing that goes all the way around it. How do you guys feel about that? I feel like 
anybody with young children like us, if you have horizontal stripes or any kind of horizontal design, Aren't they gonna climb it? you're definitely worried about your baby climbing that. Yeah. There is a little under stair space that's utilized in a really unique way. I love it. It's got like a little Harry Potter office. A little and powder bath, right as you walk in. Powder bath right off the front entry. I love that light fixture. Yeah, it looks really cool. Yeah. Whoever designed everything, they've done an incredible job. Really solid selections. So right to the left of walking in the front door. So to the right, you've got a powder bath. To the left, you've got the Two sliding doors. The dual barn door. To the office. Yeah, so that office is right outside. Those doors are cool. Yeah. Got that same pattern matching throughout. You've got a, another black barn door that takes you into this ensuite. And the textured carpet. So this is probably a primary, uh, primary bedroom with a primary uh, bath. You've got cool herringbone pattern on these massive tiles on the floor. Standalone tub, gold hardware, dual vanity. A makeup station. Makeup station. It looks like your uh, primary closet actually has some windows, which is cool. And the shower is massive. Those three windows let in plenty of natural light, and you've got some built-ins with some drawers, which is a really cool touch. This listing has 96 photos, so I'm going to kind of blaze through these a little bit. So this is the staircase that takes you into the upper level and the upper level loft kind of connects the space, which a lot of people with kids really like that because if you're upstairs or downstairs, you can always hear what the kids are doing. And look at these ceiling to floor windows. They're like you could really appreciate them yeah. from the upper level. Looks like those top, those high, high to reach have maybe electronic blinds. Yeah. And you're actually in a really nice um, area with a nice private Ooh, backyard. What's this? So there's a little curtain. Look, what, there's, a so there's a basketball hoop, hoop and a curtain. Fan, curtain, like. I don't know if I'd feel comfortable hooping around that many windows. So is this upstairs, like an upstairs family room? This is probably more for like yeah. a kid's room. That's like an upstairs hangout. That's awesome. You've got a it's room like a with a like sink. It's kind of an interesting sink. Oh, so laundry this room. is an upstairs laundry room. You could have a two laundry rooms. I think there's one upstairs, one downstairs. Nice open area. Look, they have it like all set up to do like a play. Ah. They've got the lights and the surround sound and everything. Have plenty of room to entertain. Mm -hmm. More bedrooms, more bathrooms. I love the frames around the. the Looks like dinners. this room has some built-in shelves. It's probably for like around the bed. And this is some kind of a wall light that's built in. So maybe somebody was using it as a YouTube studio. This bedroom has some built-in bunk beds, more closets. This is a loft area over the garage. Oh, cute. Oh, cool. You've got two built-in bunks with desks underneath. They've got little curtains. This is definitely a kid-friendly house. More vanities and showers and bathrooms. Okay, moving on to the backyard. I was actually pretty excited to see the backyard of this property. There's that cute window. You've got a nice large patio. That's the window that uh, takes you into the sink. Mm -hmm. Looks like there's, it's hard to tell if this is real or artificial. I think this is artificial turf with an in-ground tramp. And look at all the privacy. It looks like you've got some hillside behind you that does not appear to be buildable. So you've got no rear neighbors. And you've got some decent space. These folks were definitely into basketball. So you've got a basketball hoop back there. Some landscaped area to the side. Really like those beam details. And wow, look at those massive windows. I'm a huge fan. I absolutely love the corner windows because you get more view that way. You've got a nice massive slider right here on this side of the house. I'm a huge fan of this architecture. And look at all these views and surroundings. You've I got... I wonder if those have lights in them. In those. Yeah, they do. It looks like they do. You've got a little detached casita with this house. So you've got a roll-up garage door. And I think, I believe, if I remember correctly, this is the outdoor gym, but you could repurpose this area however you like. No. No, it's actually a casita. I'm confusing it with another listing. So you've got a little mother-in-law suite that's like literally right there that's so nice that it has its own garage it's got its own garage it's got its own private entry you've got 
ceiling to floor tile in the bathroom. Really nice laminate cabinets. It's kind of a general hangout area, like a living room with a mini split unit, so it's on its own climate zone. It's got a full kitchenette. Oh, and it's got a loft? Uh -huh. Are you kidding me? Cute. This is like a separate house that's attached to this house, or detached from this house. And I, I'm curious to see what's inside the garage. So this is Casita and... This is, is just really the whole 21. Main floor, floor That's the whole main floor. Yeah, plan. and then the detached casita is separate. So this is the upstairs mm -hmm. plan. Yeah. Wow, I'm blown away. Look, you've got this side of the mountain. It looks like there was maybe some kind of volcano behind it, actually. So you've got this carved into the mountain. So you're never going to have a neighbor to the side or behind you. It's a massive corner lot. If you want privacy and you want luxury, this one might be for you. Beautiful subdivision. Oh, that's by Grandpa's Pond. Yeah, it's right over by Grandpa's Pond. That's awesome. You've got a the pond practically right across there. the street. You've got a park. Some really nice homes in this subdivision. And you're like less than five minutes from I-15. And you're like 10 minutes away from San Hollow, maybe, tops. And 10 minutes from Costco. Yeah. Let us know what you guys think about this listing. Do you like Hurricane area? Are you familiar with this area? If you're not, shoot us a call. Give us a text. We'd love to answer any of the questions that you may have about this area. Ladies and gentlemen, and for the final home in this lineup, we wanted to bring up something special. This home was price reduced by over a million dollars. And if you think about real estate, real estate and price per square foot, this is this is a bargain, but on a on a larger scale, this is literally a mini castle. I'm excited to show you this home because I've seen it on the market for a little while, and I think that it is actually priced to sell. Believe it or not, this ultra luxury home is priced at just one hundred ninety one dollars per square foot. So if you see yourself in something like that, definitely let us know because I would love to show it to you in person. This property is located in Little Valley, just outside of Little Valley. It is currently listed for $3 million, but you get 15,000 square feet. And it sits on a 2.96 acre lot. It is obnoxiously massive, eight bedroom, nine and a half bathrooms, and it was built in 2019. Take a look at this. I wanted to just show you how big of a bargain this deal really is. It is currently listed at $3 million flat. It started at $4.39 million. So more than a $1.39 million discount. And in today's market with the current construction costs, I do not think that you could build something like this for $3 million. Take a look at this massive driveway. It's got castle-like feel, uh, four garage bays, it's got absolutely wild curb appeal. So you've got four garage bays off the, the main driveway. You've got four more plus RV or three more plus RV on the back side. It looks like a castle from the inside. You've got three metal doors that go to the outside. Everything is very, uh, very castle-like in this house. You've got some nice upper balconies, incredible design inside this bathroom. All of the finishes, everything in this home is absolutely over the top. If you could think over the top and then add some, that would be it. Look at these light fixtures up above that center island. Beautiful windows. This home is located in Crimson Boundaries, so if you've got children, it is in the best school system. You've got this door that takes you out uh, onto the balcony. Butler's Pantry with a pass-through window into the kitchen. One of the many bedrooms. Cool-looking floor in this space. You've got 
a black room with everything black with countertops. It looks like a built-in desk, so this is probably an office. This looks to be a primary bed. And look at all of the 